Hey guys, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to do another Clash of Clans episode 140. Uh, it's amazing that the 140 episode has been passed. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is to update you guys what I have done in my Clash of Clans uh, gaming experience. Uh, recently I realized uh, I've been very very uh, hard to actually manage three clans and uh, I've been uh, you know putting off some of the clans, hence the inactive the status but now I've actually consolidated all my iPad mini my iPad 3 and the iPhone 6 into a single clan which is a Simon video clan which you see from behind me um, uh, the hashtag is a uh, hashtag V U U O R C P and the good thing about this is I can actually consolidate my efforts uh, of three accounts to attack the clan walls much more efficiently and much more easier to donate troops I give you an, one example Right now, I'm actually donating wizards, and uh, for this, I can donate the the archers. And as you can see, it's very easy to donate troops right now to fill up uh, people's uh, clan castle much more faster uh, due to I have three accounts. Right. So, and another good thing about this is I can actually play my iPad Mini and share the videos and records using my iPhone 6 at full screen mode instead of the black bar at the side and uh, you know let me do a fast forward as you can see I'm using a gold wipe attack using a couple of wizards and a golem uh, to destroy the hidden Tessa which I just did uh, healing spells and after that I drop in a couple of backcasts and the reinforcement troop dragon at the bottom side and uh, a couple of uh, wizards and um, after that the rest is history it's relatively easy to use go wide attack especially when you uh, destroy the hidden tessa and then drop in the pack car together with the heroes is very very easy so um okay um let's finish this and once it's being destroyed and get 100 percent i will do another attack this time around i'm going to add in a dragon in the go up attack and hopefully it will work i'm not quite sure whether it will work but currently i have a full um, clan with 19 wizards, uh, 2 pekkas, 2 golem, 1 level 3 uh, dragons and 1 uh, archer and about 4 uh, level 5 war breakers and what do I have in my reinforcement troop is 1 dragon which is level 3, 5 wizards sorry 1 wizard 1 archers which is uh, enough to support the dragons so let's get down to the attack with 1737 trophies um, I think my goal right now is I'm going to try to force myself to go up in trophies and try to win about 2,000 trophies in the future. Okay, this this guy have a lot of elixir and um, the air defense is is relatively uh, exposed on the outside. Okay, so and there's two, three three cannons being uh. Re, uh being upgraded so the golem is going to be quite safe guys why do you upgrade three cannons at the same time it's the same thing as upgrading three multi at the same time so let me drop in the golem and a couple of wizards and there do not need any kind of uh, wall breaking let me try a golem and a couple of wizards and one archers and uh, a few more wizards again few more wizards and let me go the BK and the Archer Queen side and two wall breakers a few wizards okay so the air defense is taken down let me drop in one uh, dragons reinforcement through another dragon and uh, Pekka and another Pekka over here one healing spells one rage spells and let me see wall breakers two wall breakers and uh, maybe um, some. Do I need to draw jump spells over here? No, just two more uh, wizards over there. And oh, oh, oh! The dragon has been taken out by the bomb, which is a effective trap. Now what's left is oh, another, another trap, uh, but it's a relatively low level trap, which is pretty okay. Now the objective is to get the rest of the elixir storage, which. I got it, gotten all the trap, uh, all the elixir storage. Now left with the rest of the base to be attacked. 
Okay, so the dragon is unopposed right now, which is uh, pretty alright. Oh, I forget to use the iron fist. Uh, but it's relatively okay. So go wipe attack with a single dragon and a reinforcement troop of one dragon, which is okay by my standards. Um, okay, so one cannon still pose a little small tr um, problem with my um, golem, but the golem is uh, doing quite well. Going right through, oh, spring traps. Smaller golem will fall for the spring traps, um, unfortunately. Perfect, <laughs> yay. <laughs> okay, so I got 260,000 elixir, which is uh, what I need right now because I've just uh, used some of the elixir for some uh, stuff. So what I do is now I request troops and I can get some troops for you. Maybe some uh, dragon, some wizards. Let me drop in some archers. And there you go. That is pretty effective to get a full um, storage. So if you have, let's say, multiple devices, uh, multiple devices, <laughs> and you can have one clan of your own, it could be quite interesting to run a clan with three devices. And you can actually get faster reinforcement troops for clan wars for uh, any race. So it's very very good so basically that's it for this uh, clash of clans episode 140 and i really hope you like this video of course do smash the like button uh and subscribe right so you'll help me a lot uh there is a recent change on youtube that you might be able to subscribe uh on the channel uh for i think ten dollars a month or some sorts to remove the advertisement uh it will definitely help me if you subscribe but if you do not it's all right uh, you know you can just watch the advertisement but it's up to you if you want to support this channel so basically that's it for this video thank you very much for watching Simon's video have a nice day see ya bye bye so what I'm, what I'm very curious about is why people do that if you go to the website which I put a link below where the supercell game support website where game support dot supercell dot net the 